Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, by this point, I'm sure pretty much everyone knows that Flexport has acquired the closed down digital freight broker Convoy in November of 2023. Now, something that maybe some of you don't know is that in February of this year, the Convoy platform again became available for carriers and dispatchers and drivers to book loads on. But that is not the end of the story as something interesting is happening right now and Convoy is faced with a lawsuit that was filed by IKEA and this lawsuit is now providing some insight into what kind of margins Convoy was actually making so let's chat about it ready let's go So what the heck happened and why is IKEA suing Convoy? Well, it's pretty simple. According to Overdrive, the IKEA Corporation has filed a suit against Convoy as well as a raft of carriers and freight factoring companies in an effort to figure out who to pay in the aftermath of the digital freight broker's $3.8 billion collapse in October of 2023. Basically, IKEA is confused as to who should receive the total of $519,254.44. Not a small number, and this is just related to IKEA. Now, I know for a fact that many of you guys have been affected by convoy shutdown and are still waiting to get paid, and you don't even know where to start to find that money. So the question is, since Flexport acquired convoy, shouldn't they be the responsible party for paying these carriers who have been affected. Well, according to Overdrive, Flexport and Peterson, who is the CEO, have offered no comment on when former convoy contracted carriers will get paid or what they should expect, all while seeking to convey the new business as especially driver friendly. But this is just some background info on what has been happening with Convoy. Now the real fun begins. This new lawsuit that was filed by IKEA is starting to give some insight into what Convoy actually got paid by IKEA. So as Overdrive states, if Overdrive's analysis of the document is correct, and we did have to make a few assumptions, then it shows the dream of the $4 per mile load is still alive. At the very least, a big shipper was willing to pay that in October of 2023 when the contract was in force. Overdrive further states that most of the lanes IKEA contracted to convoy ran from the retailer's Lubbock, California location to other spots in the Golden State as well as some up to Portland, Oregon and Draper, Utah. Another big chunk ran out of Bolingbrook, Illinois, all across the Midwest and back west. A scattered few short hauls across the Los Angeles area paid convoy up to $20 per mile for 20 mile runs in the city. So what's the verdict? Well, here is the chart that Overdrive so kindly provided in their article, and it shows the lanes, the average spot rates that are grabbed from the DAT load board, which are often inflated, let's be honest here, the IKEA to convoy rate and the contract to spot difference. So basically this is a glimpse into convoys margins, you guys. Perhaps not exactly because the broker to carrier rate is not shown exactly from convoy to the carrier who actually hauled uh, these lanes, but nevertheless, it gives us some insight, a bit of an idea. 17% from Lebec to Portland is the margin. 27% from Bolingbrook to Westchester. 49% from Bolingbrook to Merriam, Kansas. 60% from Columbus to Joliet. And 78% from Merriam to Joliet. It's insane. Basically, with the exception of the Lebec to West Sacramento, California load, Convoy was making $3 per mile on pretty much all of these lanes. Now, let's forget about broker transparency for a second. I do understand that it's a huge issue, but it's not one I want to discuss right now. What I want to focus your attention on is the fact that 
as of October 2023 at least because this is where the data is from we can see that the market is not dead there is still volume and shippers were still paying a normal rate per mile but the amount of competition present in the market is simply destroying the rates and brokers have had full control of the freight market for over two years now so yeah guys it's something that most of us have been aware of the fact that brokers do take interesting margins but it's still a holy crap moment every time you actually see it on paper i'm very curious to hear from you guys if any of you have ran any of these lanes from ikea what were you paid by convoy this is something that is really interesting to find out because this is going to tell us exactly what the margins looked like. We personally have not booked a load with Convoy since 2022, so I have no idea what kind of rates they had. And this is because they were impossible to negotiate with in 2022 and 2023. And then they also screwed us over on a couple of loads. So that's when we said bye-bye. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Wishing you all a fantastic rest of your week. For those of you who have been asking, yes, I will be uploading a market update and forecast at the end of this week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning. See you in the next video.